Okay, uh, for the last part, it's uh, it's a routine basic, uh, the routine reduction. For the routing, uh, <coughs> for the routing concept, it's uh, routing uh, refers to the process in which a router receives the data packets, and then uh, from one. Uh, uh, receive uh, data packets from one interface and uh, forward it to the destination address. And the route, uh, the packets, uh, mm. the route of the packets, it's the uh, routing. The routing is divided into the uh, three uh, kinds. Uh, the first is the static routing, the second is the dynamic routing, and then it's, the third is the directly connecting routing. A direct direct connecting route is a uh, uh, device is direct connected uh, route. Uh, it is covered by the link layer protocol. And for the static route, uh, the router the route entries are configured manually rather than uh, determined by dynamic and uh, uh, direct connections. And for the dynamic routing, uh, the dynamic routing is uh, dynamically learning and compared to the uh, static routing. And the routers uh, configured with uh, the dynamic routing can automatically uh, build their own routing table. For the static routing, uh, it's uh, the traffic just uh, uh, transfer uh, trans just be transferred uh, by the static route, uh, but for the dynamic route, it's always uh, always uh, change. Okay, for the <clears throat> uh, for the dynamic routing, uh, it can be divided into uh, two into uh, two kinds of. Uh, uh, Two kinds of uh, routing. So uh, well, let's see the routing table directly. Uh, in a computer network, in a computer network, a routing table or routing uh, domain information based uh, database, uh, it's a, a spreadsheet or the database stored in a router or a, a network computer. The routing uh, table uh, stores the path. To a specific net network address. Uh, so we can see the picture that uh, there is uh, <clears throat> one, there is three, uh, there is three uh, router, and each router with uh, the routing table, and the pass it, um, the packets uh, entered to the uh, router uh, e zero ports. Uh, and then it will, uh, according to the routing table, and then tra transfer it to the uh, router B. And according, uh, when, the, when the traffic arrives in the uh, router B, according to the routing table, it can be set, transferred to the routing C, router C. Uh, the next is the, the fight switch uh, routing configuration. Uh, <clears throat> the first is a static uh, routing configuration. Uh, the network topology will be uh, like this. Uh, the fight uh, switch connected to the router and the router connected to the internet. The PC connected to the uh, fight uh, switch. So we go to the uh, web interface of the fight uh, switch. And in the uh, route management, uh, we can see the static route. Uh, we can add the static route here uh, to input the destination IP address and the subnet MAC address, uh, subnet mask, uh, and uh, to input the next hope IP address. Uh, for the second, it's the OSPF uh, routing configuration. Uh, for example, here, uh, there is a top lodge. Uh, the network controller connects to the 
RS switch one, uh, the loop loopback is uh, uh, disappear address. Uh, so how to conf uh, configure the Arial 0 and the Arial 1 OSPF? Let's go to see the configuration. First, uh, uh, we can go to the uh, web interface management, the o uh, route management, and uh, go to the OSPF to enable OSPF first. <coughs> and then uh, <coughs> use the interface address to select the interface. Uh, just now, it's uh, the loop back is uh, 282. Uh, right? So uh, for the loop pull back one, you can choose the 82 uh, interface. And then base, uh, and then the reference bound wise, uh, set the default uh, is uh, 100. Uh, then we can add a list of area uh, to select the specified routing interface uh, to be advertised for the area to be added. Uh, so for the VLAN if for the VLAN if one, uh, we announced it as the area one. Uh, and then in the interface. Uh, in the interface configuration, uh, we can select the port to uh, set. Uh, we can select the port uh, to set the DR priority of the port. The configuration of the DR uh, election priority can affect the DR and the BDR election of the OSPF. The default, uh, the default DR uh, DR election priority is uh, one. Uh, the greater the priority. Uh, the greater the priority uh, higher. When the priority is uh, zero, don't uh, it don't uh, participate in the DR uh, election. And uh, in the advanced options, we can uh, configure the basic configuration of uh, OSPF hard 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 bit packets, such as the hollow time and the interval and so on. Uh, also, we can see here, we can uh, configure the BFD detection. Uh, <clears throat> so, after, after we configure the OSPF routing configuration, we can view the routing information. In the system, uh, the route status, uh, you, can, uh, you can see the routing table on our uh, switch. From the figure, uh, you can see that uh, the OSPF routing information has been uh, learned from the neighbors. Uh, for the OSPF routing configuration, uh, viewing status, viewing uh, routing status in the system, there is the OSPF status. You can see the. Uh, various uh, basic information of our current OSPF, including the basic status of OSPF, uh, adjacency in infor interface information, routing information, and other uh, parameter. And uh, in the uh, in the adjacency, we can see that uh, we have established the OSPF neighbor switch the states here uh, is four. In the interface, uh, in the interface information, we can see the status of the interface announced in the OSPF uh, area. And then in the routes, you can see the routing uh, entries passed through the OSPF protocol. But because the priority of the direct route of the interface is greater than the priority uh, learned by the dynamic routing. So there are uh, two that have failed here. For the uh, RIP routing configuration, uh, the network topology uh, also uh, here. This is for the RIP version uh, version two. <clears throat> uh, 
uh, in the your road management RIP, you can enable RIP first and then uh, you just uh, need to uh, choose the interface. RIP routing version 1 it's, uh, is a category routing protocol. It only supports the broadcast of the protocol message and the uh, protocol message do not carry uh, mask information. So it can only identify the root of uh, the natural, natural network segment, such as A, B, C. Therefore, uh, for RIP version 1, you cannot support the root aggregation or uh, discontinuous uh, subnets. For the version 2, uh, it's, uh, it's a non-classified routing protocol that supports external routing text and allow uh, flexible control of uh, routes based on text in routing uh, policy. So for now, usually uh, we use the RIP version 2. <clears throat> uh, and then after we uh, after we choose the uh, interface, choose the RIP version, and uh, then we select the interface and make the interface uh, settings. Uh, for example, if you want to enable the BFD, uh, if you want to uh, add uh, the additional parameters, you can add it here. Also, at last, you can uh, edit the uh, road redistribution redistribution uh, for the direct road or the, for the static road for RSPF or for default also for the status uh, it's the same uh, you go to the system status the road status and to check the uh, RIP basics for the fate uh, for the phase switch uh, routing configuration the uh, statics routing configuration <coughs> Uh, network uh, like this the WSC connect to the switch to the fade switch and uh, the fade switch connect to uh, sundry uh, PoE switch and connect to the uh, PC and the X point so how we configure this uh, first we enter the switch management center and uh, the, for the route management there is the static route uh, so in the static route for, the, uh, for each uh, switch, we can add the IPv4 static route. Uh, for, static road, for the static route, it's uh, uh, really easy to add. And then, it's for the OSPF routing configuration. Uh, the top notch uh, still like this, uh, not change. And uh, for the configuration, we go to the switch management center, the road management OSPF, and then to add the OST, uh, OSPF policy uh, to uh, give it a name and uh, choose the switch, uh, choose the switch, which switch uh, in the OSPF area. And uh, for the areas, we need to uh, add the area and input the area ID. For example, just now, uh, the arrow it's uh, arrow zero, uh, so we can uh, we can input the uh, zero here. Uh, the arrow one, uh, <coughs> and then if if we we need to change the arrow one, we just input the arrow ID one here. Uh, for the OSPF, uh, uh, for the OSPF routing configuration, the next step is to um <clears throat> next uh, step is to uh, select the switch which switch in the area the rotor id the rotor id choose the rotor id uh, the rotor id is the only identifier uh when the smart switch and the uh, ospf neighbors uh, Interact with uh, each other. So here we recommend to use the, to use the loopback port as the root ID. 
because the advantage of uh, doing this is that uh, the virtual interface will not be as the physical uh, as the physical interface so the, the interface is closed due to the factors for the next is the OSPF uh, for, for the next is the OSPF routing configuration the last step uh, the settings the settings of the reference in the bundle OS will affect the subsequent calculation of the OSPF cost uh, so we can calculate the uh, speed, the interface cost, the bandwise reference value, um, and the, the bandwise. The next is uh, the next step is uh, to release of uh, routing. Here we create the different area uh, of our SPF and uh, we distinguish different areas by area ID. The benefit of uh, dividing area uh, for the first reducing the size of the uh, ring table. Second one is limit the spread of uh, LSC. Third is the speed of the convergence. Uh, for the fourth is the enhanced the stability. Uh, in addition to area ID, uh, we can configure the uh, backbone area, the common area, uh, strip area, total totally stupid area, NSSA area, totally NSSA area. Each area can select the multiple interface of the switch. As long as, long as the interface is selected, the direct uh, route and the interface will be advertised to the OSPF area. <coughs> uh, and then we can configure the re regional uh, border switch can restrict the routing entries in the inaccessible area and owning the information that uh, passes the routing wireless can be uh, published or received. The route aggregation is to aggregate multiple detailed routes into a large route entry. The purpose of this is to uh, simplify the transmission of uh, uh, route entries in various areas. Uh, for the next, it's uh, the static, uh, well, for the OSPF, uh, <coughs> switching the OSPF co parameter configuration. In switch OSPF parameter configuration, the route redistribution can be per, can be performed, and the routing entries in direct routing or other routing protocols can be redistributed into OSPF route entries. The following route while list and uh, the route aggregation in the above, uh, the content of the introduction is uh, the same. Uh, so, so let's, let, let's just uh, uh, pass this. Uh, so after we configure the OSPF, uh, how we check the status? We go to the switch status, uh, and then we find this switch. In this switch, uh, we check the details. There is the road uh, status. We can select the uh, specify uh, switch in the system states uh, starts to view the road status. So just now we uh, configure the OSPF. And here, uh, we can see the OSPF atom. Uh, for the re, uh, for the RIP uh, routing configuration, the top notch here. And uh, in the road management uh, RIP, and we can new the RIP policy to choose the RIP version. Uh, and then we uh, choose the interface the VLAN interface for uh, the RIP. Uh, for the interface settings, for the interface settings, we can choose uh, uh, the VLAN interface. Uh, we can interface settings for to enable uh, the uh, split horizon or enable the poison reverse. Deliver 
we our RIP uh, update message or not. RIP uh, update message after uh, checking to allow the sending RIP update message when the routing information changes. Uh, it um, immediately sends a trigger update message to the neighbor router to notify that uh, uh, change it uh, routing information. And then the triggered updates uh, can shorten the network uh, convergence in time and the broadcast uh, and broadcast this information to other routers uh, immediately when the routing table uh, entry changes, just without uh, having to wait for the uh, scheduled update. <clears throat> In the advanced settings, uh, you can also set the route one list, the incoming route and the outcoming route. Also, we can configure the timer. At the same time, the import rule can also be configured to filter the uh, imported route. The interface RIP, uh, the interface RIP parameter configuration. Select uh, whether the interface is uh, uh, use policy common configuration or independent uh, configuration. The user can configure the type, uh, the metric value, and the uh, uh, label of uh, imported rules. At the same time, the important role can also be configured to filter the imported rules. The, for the RIP, uh, we can select the prevent uh, routing loop methods whether to allow sending RIP update message, whether to enable BFD detection, and whether to enable additional metrics. Okay, after we can fix the RIP routing configuration, uh, we can go to the switch uh, status and the switch status uh, to check the uh, road status. If we configure the RIP road, uh, we can see the uh, RIP road item in the road status. Okay. Uh, for the uh, for the routing part, so it's already finished. Uh, so for now, if you have you uh, do you have any question about uh, uh, <clears throat> today's content? Uh, and for the last one, it's the routing uh, basic. The routing basic is uh, uh, we talk about uh, the three kinds of uh, uh, routing. The first is direct direct connected routing and the second is uh, uh, the static routing and the dynamic routing um, for the configuration in the switch uh, we talk about uh, the static route we just uh, uh, to uh, input the uh, static route the IP, the route uh, IP address and the uh, and my uh, server mask and uh, the <coughs> uh, next hope right for the static and uh, for the OSPF uh, and uh, the RIP, we just need to uh, enable this protocol and to choose the corresponding uh, interface and uh, to uh, choose the area uh, for the protocol. And after we config, we can uh, check the uh, routing uh, route uh, status just in the uh, switch, uh, switch status.